Hello, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Year 7 um, Welcome event. My name is Marie Aguma, and I'm head teacher here at the Carlton Academy. I have asked that cameras and microphones be switched off, um, so thank you for doing that this evening. Um, just in terms of this presentation, this presentation will not be um, will be available, and the slides of this presentation will be available on the school website tomorrow. But I ask that you please do not record this event. So I'm just going to start by um, sharing sorry I'm just going to start by um, sharing this screen here just so we can introduce ourselves so I'm Maria Goom I'm head of teacher and I'm the person in the middle Richard Pierpoint is the executive head teacher of the Carlton Academy and he is also um, head executive head teacher of Colonel Frank Seeley and Park Vale schools as well and when your child starts with us in September you will have an opportunity um, to meet them and we will be at the house welcome events that we will start in the first weeks of term. I'm just going to ask Mr Daniels to introduce himself as well. Hello everybody, Andy Daniels here. I manage transition for the Carlton Academy and for Colonel Frank Seeley Academy. Thanks, um, Andy. So lots of you will have seen Andy. He's been into our primary schools. And also, if you've come up for any sort of maybe year five events or events that your primary schools have led at the Carlton Academy, you may well have seen Andy. So first of all, I just want to say thank you for choosing us. We are um, a great school. I've been working at this school for three years after over 20 years in education. And I actually went to one of the schools within this trust. And just for information, I also did my PGC training at the Carlton Academy. So it feels like I've returned home in that sense. Just in terms of the trust then, we are a member of the Red Hill Academy Trust and we share sort of core purposes with the other trust schools and we are aligned in what we expect. The principles that you'll see there are high expectations for all students, valuing and celebrating academic achievement, outstanding teaching for all students and making sure that all students are fully involved in widening their students experience in terms of their cultural capital and their extracurricular opportunities and getting involved in a wide range of things here whilst they are with us. The ambition that you have for your child and your support for our vision will help us achieve your child's goals together. Just in terms of the aims of this briefing, so normally in normal times we would have done this in the theatre, I'd have invited you into the school and would have had a face-to-face -face meeting and then you would have gone away and spoken to your child's head of house and also your child's form tutor. During these times this is not possible which, why, um, which is the reason why we are doing this event and I hope that you leave this event feeling well informed. So it's about welcome introductions, sharing vital information in terms of key information to get your your child started and having the best possible start for September. It's a bit about reassurance and support really as well and making sure that they are ready and they are um, fully supported in their transition to the school but it's not a question and answer and there won't be an opportunity to ask questions and answers uh, have those questions answered on the briefing tonight. Now most of the information that you might have questions about are available on the school website and in the packs that have been posted home. If there are any questions that you still have in relation to your child starting at the Carlton Academy after tonight and after you've gone through those packs, then please do contact the office. And if you send that through to the office with your child's details and your name and the question, then that will be passed on to the most appropriate person and they will get back to you. So just in terms of the welcome pack, that has gone out. You should have received that now. And within that, there was a welcome letter from myself. There's information in there about the uniform and equipment that we expect children to bring into schools. There's a leaflet in there about music tuition and the instruments are of the, um, are available for that. We've got a reading recommendations list for students, how we um, communicate with you as families. And then there's also a summer reading activity workbook. Again, I just want to say if you do look at the website, you should be able to find all the questions that you have. The website should be your first point of call in terms of information, but also do please follow us on Twitter at the Carlton underscore Academy. So just in terms of the website, I have talked about the website and the place to go for information. You'll see on the website across the top, there's lots of different sections. But as parents of students and students themselves that are going to be starting with us in September, all of the information is in the home 
about a transition and feeder schools section. So you'll see the latest update letters there from me. And there'll also be information around the curriculum, general information and student information as well. Just in terms of our online guide, so I've talked about the curriculum and I think we've got an absolutely great curriculum. It's really broad, it goes deep for students and I think it's a really exciting curriculum for students in year seven all the way up to sixth form. It's got the topics that students are going to be studying and useful websites alongside visits that they may undertake when we are um, in a position where we are returning to visits. There's also a general information booklet there about everything in terms of the school, in terms of what we expect, some things around our policies and our practices. Key dates is the place um, is going to be really important. I think in these times, it's really important to have a look at the website for the key dates because there may well be a few changes. And there's a section on key dates at the end of this presentation tonight, and we will communicate those to you as they arise in terms of giving you notice about them. Student information is for the young people that you have at home um, with you and our year sixes are soon to be year sevens. We've got equipment list on there and then also further information about music lessons. Accelerated reader. So we absolutely value reading at the Carlton Academy. I'm an avid reader and many of staff are avid readers too. We want to lead students to leave the Carlton Academy in a position where they have read a wide range of books, but they are enjoying reading. And that's why we value reading so much because we really do believe that reading supports students' vocabulary, which in turn will support them as students when they are coming to and their learning. And then finally, when they are taking those exams at the end of year 11 and, um, and in also in year 13 should they and I hope they really do continue to stay on with us in the sixth form. So Accelerated Reader happens every week. Students have a lesson in the library. And I'm, if you haven't seen our amazing library, then when you do have an opportunity to come in for those house welcome evenings, do go and visit the library. Miss Georgeson is absolutely fantastic as a librarian. She absolutely loves the library. Students love being in there. And it's a real opportunity for students to engage in reading. So Accelerated Reader happens every week. Students have an hour in there with their um, normally their English teacher but also another member of staff and they would do some reading and then they would go on to do some quizzing they get certificates for those they get house points and they'll get prizes one of the real big pushes that we've got is we want students and as many students as possible to be part of the millionaires club which means that they've read over one million words each year and so far we've got lots and lots even during the times when we've been in lockdown of students that have joined that club and then they will get a gold star for their blazer to show that they have, are part of that millionaires club. So just a little bit more about reading. It's really important that when students join us that they do come with a reading book. The students will be expected to read every single day. One of the books that I want students to be reading over the holidays is a book called School Duggery Pleasant. And you will have received a workbook about that that they would complete once they've read each chapter. Just in terms of reading itself, reading happens during tutor time every single week for all students and that's silent reading. We call that something called drop everything and read. But in addition to that, we have dear time that takes place for students in year seven and eight on a rolling program where they would read for the first 15 minutes of every, um, of, of um, the first, first 15 minutes of a lesson on a rotation throughout the week. So it's really important that students come to school on their first day and they make sure they've got a reading book that they're gonna really enjoy reading that will challenge them and they carry that as part of their uniform equipment. So this is a image of School's Duggery Pleasant. This is the book that we are expecting, asking that students to read over the summer holidays. Some of you may well have that book already. Mr Daniels, I know, has made sure that he's gone and visited lots of different primary schools and made sure that students have got those books. If students aren't part of that group of either a family of schools or the ones listed there, then copies of that book will be posted out to you and you, if you haven't received those already then you definitely will be receiving those in the next week or so. 
In terms of the booklet that will run alongside that and students will need to complete that booklet over the holidays and then I'd ask that they bring that into their lessons and if I ask that they do that on their second day of um, secondary school they won't be actually in any lessons on their first day of secondary school but if they have that completed booklet ready with them to give into their English teacher on their second day at school and then the English teacher will use that to inform that the work that they are doing in their English lessons in the first two weeks but it's really important that they do read that book and then also complete the activities within the book. And here are some of the pr prizes and rewards that they will get for completing that. So uniform. So it's really important that if you haven't started to look at uniform, you do so um, now, please. Purchase price to the start of term, of course it is. And the, so we've got two suppliers and you can get that information in relation to those suppliers on the school website. Details of the suppliers have also been communicated with you. And but I am aware that the uniform suppliers are operating in different circumstances. So, so if you haven't been and looked at your uniform yet or purchased your uniform, then please do go and do that over the next couple of weeks. Just in terms of the uniform, we have logo or quite specific items in relation to the blouser, trousers and the skirt, and that's got a logo on them. So that would need to come from the official suppliers. School shirts would not need to, and they can be purchased from um, your local sort of outlets for clothes, Marks and Spencers or one of the um, supermarkets. In terms of the house badge, every student, you, and you will know what child, um, your house your child in, will receive a house badge. That's normally one pound to replace, but their first house badge which they wear on their blazer to indicate the house that they are in would also be given out free and we'll give that to students on their very first day. In terms of shoes, I do get asked a few questions about shoes. So they need to be plain black leather or leather look only, please. I ask that you don't um, purchase suede or canvas or trainer like shoes, for example, Nike Air Forces or shoes with got logos on that of different colours or branded ones like things like um, Vans, I know are quite popular with young people, but they would not be permitted. In terms of the PE uniform, that is again a branded uniform please so that would need to be purchased from the supplier school shorts tracksuit trousers must all have that logo on please and information around the school PE kit is also available in those packs that you have received so start of term for students is thursday the 2nd of september September. And we ask that students arrive at 8.40 a.m. please. I'm going to be sending a letter out to all um, students and their parents just before the holidays just to make sure that they are fully aware of their arrival times but also any details in relation to specific guidance that comes out from the DfE in the last couple of weeks of term in relation to schools reopening and also information around testing which you uh, may or may not be aware of is going to be part of our school routine once we return following the government guidance. The first day in school will be very much around students being inducted to our building in terms of the way we do things here at the Carlton Academy. We will be having students back from older year groups in the afternoon. And that's about making sure that they have an opportunity to meet the rest of the students that will be forming part of their tutor group as well. And there'll also be an assembly and an opportunity to spend some time with their head of house. On that first day, students will not need to bring their PE kit. In terms of that day, so they'll have a timetable and the tour of the school. There'll be biometrics capture for cashless system and lots of get to know your activities and also an online act reading assessment. And that's just about us assessing where students are in terms of their reading to support the accelerated reader work that they will be doing throughout the year. And you'll notice when I share the key dates with you, there's an initial reading assessment and then there'll be other reading assessments throughout Throughout the year. That's about making sure that students are developing in their reading practice. So talking about pledges, we talked about pledges in the open events that we did last year, but pledges are a really important part of the work that we do at the Carlton Academy. It's about developing students' cultural capital. I want students to leave the Carlton Academy with the skills and the qualifications that allow them to go on and have really successful lives. And I know that is absolutely about results, but it's also about all of the other things that they do. So you'll see the pledges that we want students to achieve along the bottom. It's around having really great attendance. 
We want students to get involved in school trips and we are starting to be able to open up that in terms of trips and Mr Daniels will talk to you about Wellesby later on. We want students to represent the academy in sports and performing arts events and these are not only within the school and maybe within the local area but also trust wide. I want students to get involved in assemblies. I think student voice is really, really important. I want students to actively get involved in delivering the messages on different aspects of society and PSHE to other students and really get involved in the wider school community as well. I'm really proud that we have Golden Grove, which is an annual event for the older residents of this community. And it's about getting involved, reaching out and making a real difference. It's also about supporting other students within the academy and also I've said they're talking about reading. Reading is really important and then there's also their own personal pledge. So when your child arrives at the academy within that first week they'll be coming home with their pledge passport and once they achieve those pledges then parents and students will sign those off and those um, pledges will get logged so we can keep track of what students are achieving and the different pledges throughout the year. Now, TCA opportunity, I am so proud of the opportunity. And I think one of the things that I suppose that has saddened me during um, sort of COVID times and school closures is that we've not been able to run the opportunities that we had planned to run. But opportunities are really, really important. I want students to be getting involved with active after school activities. There'll also be lunchtime activities that are on offer for students to partake in as well. We've got an absolutely great offer planned for students in September and that will go out in that last week of term so you'll have an opportunity to have a look at the offer look at the days that they are on so you can really have a good conversation around what opportunities you want to get involved in in September so that will go out um, in the next couple of weeks and then in September students will have an opportunity to talk again with their form tutor and will be asked about which opportunities they are going to get involved in and opportunities for everybody will start in September um, on the 30th of September so that second week back and it is my expectation I really do want your support with this that students do get involved and they're involved and they attend at least one opportunity each week what you see here is a sample of opportunities that we've offered in the last year so you can see this book club history club pro programming as um, that's computer based upcycling there's a whole range and i'm hoping that when you look at our offer you'll see that there is something in there for everyone Here are the key dates as they stand. So students will return on the 2nd of September. We've got the house welcome meetings happening on the 2nd to the 9th of September. You'll also um, information there about school photographs. I know these are really important. So school photographs are going to be happening on Friday the 10th of September. Week commencing the 13th of September, we do something called CATS and that is something that all schools in the Red Hill Academy trust and it's almost like a baseline testing and that's to add to the data that we will get to primary school in terms of setting targets and we can use that to inform our target setting and the work that they do. Eco days on the 15th of September, that's an eco day for all students. We've then got an event for parents, for you as parents, um, on the 28th of September. That will be led by members of the senior leadership team. So there will be uh, Mr. Byrne there, who leads on the curriculum, and also Mr. Hilliard, who will be representing um, teaching and learning work that we're doing. We've then got further reading tests um, just before we wake up for the Christmas break. Starting back will be a year seven tutor review week. So that'll be an opportunity for you as, uh, or at least another opportunity for you to meet your child's form tutor to talk about how your child is getting on in terms of their progress and their approach to learning. And then in the much later on in that year, then you can see that we've got year seven exam week, further reading tests and parents evening for year seven will be on the 13th of July. I think what I will say at this point is that your form tutor and um, you will um, you know get make contact with your form tutor but they definitely will need to be your first point of contact and I hope that you get to build a really really strong relationship with your child's form tutor and they are the link for you whilst your child is attending the Carlton Academy. Right, I'm going to hand over to Mr Daniels now who's just going to talk to you a little bit about Wellsby. Right, sorry to keep everybody waiting there. Um, 
earlier on, I had to cough and I unmuted myself and, uh, or I muted myself and unfortunately I couldn't get back to being on. So the Walesby trip on the 15th of September, if you recall at the start of the presentation by Mr. Guma, talked about the core purpose of the school and our core purpose is high aspirations. So the idea of going to Walesby on the Enriching Curriculum Opportunities Day is twofold, really. Firstly, it's about the activities that we do where we'll be, be engaged, as you can see from the slide, on some water-based and some land-based activities. So we'll be doing things like raft building that you can see on the screen there. There'll be some canoeing and kayaking with students working collaboratively collaboratively, sorry, in those activities on the water. They will also be doing some land-based activities, such as um, solving problems, doing some climbing activities, using rope climbing up uh, climbing walls. And that's about putting students into a challenging situation and realising and supporting the realisation that you can achieve more than you sometimes believe. So it's part of our aspiration raising. That's the first aspect of going. But the other aspect of equal value is around gelling the year group as a Carlton Academy Year 7. We have 230 plus students joining us into Year 7 and they come from, a, I think it's 25 different schools. So this is a real integral part of our embedding the students in as a year seven group. During the day, they will be building relationships with each other and equally importantly, building relationships with the staff, particularly the house team that are gonna be looking after them for the next five and maybe seven years for some of those students. So it really is an integral part of our induction programme into the school. I hope that explains the reason for the trip and our aims in conducting it. So I'll hand back to you, Ms. Aguma. Thank you for that, Mr. Daniels. And that is, um, as you see there, it's on the 15th of September and it's our plan that all year sevens go. So please, if you've not paid yet, do log on to Parent Play. Or if there's any issues with that, then please do contact our school office on the email that I have shared with you earlier on tonight. So just in terms of the house welcome evening. So you will know now what house your child is in from the five that are listed there and the heads of house are very, very keen to meet you. We've arranged for that opportunity to happen on the dates provided there. And um, I know they're on different dates, but that's about numbers and that's making sure that we're following sort of COVID guidance, please, for the school site and just having the numbers that are on site in different spaces so you can get to know staff well just in terms of those evenings then they have, will run from 6 till 7 30 and we ask that it's just one adult per family and the student on those evenings please again if there's any issues with that then please do contact the school so in september um, so I'm going to send an email out. Um, so you'll be getting further into and you'll get the update letter for September, which all parents will get. And then in September, we'll send you further information about, out about assessment and reporting. And you'll hear about that in that event that we're going to run around curriculum and assessment. We'll also send you further information for after school events and how your child and you as a mum or a dad or a parent or um, carer can log into Satchel One. And that's about using the um, homework and how a child can monitor, um, see what the homework they're getting, but also as a parent, how you can monitor the homework and check that your child is completing it. In that first week as well, you'll get uh, information around downloading the School Gateway app and also using our systems of communication We'll also send reminders out about that app as well, but that is definitely going to be a key point of call for you when we are communicating with each other. And that will also allow you to monitor students' attendance and behaviours and reward on, a, reward on a daily basis as well, but also have a look at what timetables they're in so that when they return from their school day, you can have a conversation with them about their lessons. 
just in terms of extra things, these are really important. So medication and medical conditions. We are aware that some students will require um, medical, have got medical conditions or required to take medication throughout the day. If that is the case, then I ask that you contact uh, Miss Bomer, who's on that email there, please, just to talk about that medication and to complete an individual health care plan. I also just ask that you make sure that you've checked the essential equipment list, please, on the website and also contact details. If they do change over the holiday, and I'm aware that sometimes the contact details do change, that you communicate that with us so that we can communicate efficiently and effectively with you. The heads of house, so uh, Miss um, Chambers, Mr Hodgkinson, Miss Rose, Mr Sharp and Mr Barley have also put welcome videos on our YouTube channel which is available on the link um, so please look at those and you'll get to meet the head of house in the virtual way ahead of those meetings too. The PTFA has asked that I um, promote the work that they do. They're a wonderful um, set of people and they are always asking and looking for members. So if you are interested in joining the PTF, who do a lot of fundraising activities, then I ask that you do contact them on their email. They also are providing a uniform swap um, sales shop. So if you want to purchase um, pre-loved uniform, then do contact them as well. And they have got lots and lots of uniform available for you to have a look at. Final plea from me then is just about making sure that your child is really successful at the Carlton Academy and that starts with really good attendance but also making sure children are and your child is on time every day. Make sure that they're smart with all the equipment that is required and they are ready and eager to learn. I think it's also important, especially as they move up to year seven, that sometimes things are a little bit challenging and things are a little bit different. But as students join the academy, they'll realise that actually it's a really great place. And if they have got any particular challenge, and I think one of the biggest ones is around space and manoeuvring that building, then there will always be somebody around to support. And really do please get them um, to have a look at the opportunities programme when that comes out. Please monitor them through the app. So again, you can see the rewards that they are given, which will be really key to them when they're starting here at the Carlton Academy. And do have a look at their books. I, you know, do spend, you know, five or 10 minutes each day at the end of the day, just having a look at their exercise books and have discussions around the work that they are doing each day. Because I think it's really important as a parent, that you understand the curriculum needs, but also the type of work and activities they are doing in lessons. That's the equipment. It's, I think it's a standard equipment list that most schools would, uh, um, would ask. Reminder there about reading, please, and making sure that they've got reading books and also a refillable water bottle will be really important for them or something similar because we are trying to cut down on the amount of plastic and water bottles that are purchased at school. Further questions, please. If you've got any further questions, do check the transition page of the website. It's got lots of information on there. So do check that. And then again, if you still got questions after that, do get onto that email and email it in and we'll do our best to respond to you as quickly as possible. And then just a final reminder in the packs that went out, there was quite a few um documents in there that we do need back and we need those back to get your child fully onto our system but also making sure that they can go on those trips so if you can bring or send those back in please and addressing those to Miss Ball that would be really really helpful we do need all of those back in as soon as possible and the first day back at the very latest. So final message from me is that thank you for choosing the Carlton Academy. I'm very, very much looking forward to working with you and your um, child on their journey to success. Mr. Pierpoint and Mr. Daniels are also going to be um, a key part of your child's transition, as are many other members of the leadership team will be around in those first few days to meet your child and answer any questions that they have. But I want you to know and I want your children to know that we are very much looking forward to them joining school. I want them to feel really well informed. So do spend some time going back and looking over that website so that they fully understand what it's like to be a member of the Carlton Academy family and have a really pleasant summer. The last thing I do want to say is that I will write to all families um, across all year groups to talk about any differences to the reopening in terms of COVID restrictions as they arise. So if there's anything that does come out over the summer, then we will make sure that you are well informed about, about that. But the only thing um, left for me to say is have a very good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I am aware that there are some people that have not been able to view this, so we'll look out um, make sure there's a recording of this available to them and also give them an opportunity to hear from me as well um, as soon as I can. 
Okay, so take care, have a very good evening and thank you very much.